Hello everyone, this is Jair and in this video I'm going to show you how to create an account in Telscale that will allow you to connect your internal or your local Umbrella node or Lightning node into a more secure way and faster way than the Tor network uh, today and this will allow you to make uh, payments from your mobile phone while your Lightning node is running or your Bitcoin node is running on at your home. Let's uh, have a look and I will be doing this live. This is the first time I'm opening the website of Telscale, but we need to create a, a login. So I don't have a login name, so I will have to create one. In this case, I will provide my email address. Uh, in this case, I will select OK here. So they want, they, they, they recognize my account and it looks like uh, I can see the services here. And then I can see what machines I have. In this case, I don't have any machine. Users, it will be me with my username. I can look at the devices here, but at this point I don't have any devices set up. I have some access controls. And here is my activity so far. So I created a, an account and a user. And I have a DNS name, so I think this is to enable access using a public DNS name. And here is additional settings for my account, and I will probably blur some of this information. Uh, okay, so uh, at this point, I, I, I do have my account, I have my keys, and I think I can just go to the umbrella to my umbrella node. In this case, I'll go here and I uh, will proceed and log in. And what I heard is that what we need is to install Tailscale in your Umbrel node. And we find it. Maybe I, I, I pass faster. Tours, no, by home. Test scale. So here is the here is the application that we need to install. So let's install this one. All right. So it says that it's a zero config VPN access for your Umbrel from anywhere because it uses the wire guard type of VPN. Magically access your umbrella from anywhere in the world. Zero configuration VPN, no config files, no file, no, no our ports to open. So I think all we need is the configuration, the installation of this package, the scale. To have a secure connection between your umbrella and other devices. Alright, let's go we assign you an umbrella stable IP address so it's going to create a local IP address VPN and we can cons consistently use that since like it's like a local network that works everywhere okay because it seems again it's built on top of guard which is a very very interesting and solid secure connection that uses the secure shell private and public key similar to what Bitcoin uses uh, for security and for encryption. So in this case, it supports IPv6 and container. Okay, what else we have here? And okay, there's nothing else. So let's proceed and install it. So the reason why I decided to give it a try to test scale is because I, I normally connect my Zeus account. Actually, I will share that in the screen. 
So I will open a new tab here and I will go to this application, Screen Mirror App. So we can see what we see right now in my, in my, in my phone. So I will scan screen from, with my phone and then you will see that here you can now see my, my, my mobile device. So if we go here, we can see this is my home screen my, in my, my Android phone. And if we go back to the emails, you can see I, I, I receive an email here and it tells me to download the application to, to my device. I will do that. I will download Telescope for Android and install it. And while it's doing that, we are also being able to see that this one is ready. So if I click open, we just need to log in here with the account that we created in the Telescale um, website. So if we go here, let's log in. Authorization successful, so I don't know how it knows already. Maybe some of my details were already logged in. That's why, probably because I was already logged in. So you can see that a machine is connected, which is the the umbrella node where I, where I, this is the IP address of the of the umbrella uh, application or the umbrella container. So I think we don't need we don't need any more this screen here as we already have the L scale here, it's installed, you can see. And then uh, we can actually close this window. And here we can see that we have only one device connected so far. I will try to connect this device as well and we will see if Telscale register that device here. So let's do that. So I open this and I will tell it to allow notifications get it started and it will also ask me to log in with my with my username so I will use here I will select another and then I will say my email address and it automatically recognize that my account is with a gmail account from Jarunet. so I, I press that one authorization has been successful and does still want to set up a VPN connector to allow it to monitor network traffic only as if you trust the source. Yeah, that's fine. And now we can see that we have one device, an Android device here, and we see the LXC1, which is it's a Linux system that is running Umbra here. And we can, we can see that to install to other, to, to, to connect more devices, to the encrypted network of Telscale, we just had to install the application. It's very nice. So at this point, I will close this here. And uh, what we're going to do now is uh, I'm going to try to connect my Android device to the uh, Uber node. And what I will do, I will move this uh, VPN here and uh, as we are connected this these little dots here means that the telescale VPN is is engaged it's connected so I do have already a connection with um, my Zeus but it's using the Tor uh, settings so as you can see it's very slow because Tor is not really optimized for speed. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I will give credit to this tutorial from one of the Bitcoiners users that I created here with the details of how to, how to configure it. I will be configuring the SUS application. So finally, uh, the SUS starts showing up here. So what I will do I will go to the settings or maybe I just need to remove the node info. Not delete the whole setting, but what it says here is open the source file instruction from Umber. Connect the wallet sales. I should be with Tor connection, scan the QR code. Before hit save, remove the Tor switch and replace all the online address with the Tesla IP of your node. C.3. Okay. 
point to install the screen mobile device and login with that same credit account I did that immediately you will see in the app the IP of your node okay so we can see that the IP address on my node is this one here and uh, what I will do here is I'm going to select node info and it's saying that we need to remove the remove the Tor switch and replace all onion address with the Tedescal IP so I think we can do this that will remove the Tor configuration and then we will remove the Tor address which is this onion address here and we will replace it with the IP address of the scale we will keep the port I believe 8080 and then I will so replace the onion address with the IP as you know hit save button and you will connect in a few moments okay so I, I already changed that as you can see here I just remove that I kept the same name the port is the same the macaron is the same and I will select save configuration and looks like we are connected so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to close this connection so I have Tesla running here and if I open now the application of Zeus way much faster way 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 much faster so what I'm going to do as you can see I'm connected with the Wi-Fi because I'm sharing my mobile into the screen but if I remove the the this capture that I'm doing right now from the phone you will not be able to see this here however I can record on my phone how fast is the connection and then try to share it in one of the videos I will give it some try and then I will come back with another video where I can record the connections from outside my network, outside my home and I will select screen record in the phone and then verify how faster and how better is the connection to the SUS and then report to you how, how did it work for now this is all I wanted to show you thank you for watching and until the next time